Hey everybody, this is Chris. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Mickey Mouse cutting board. Now a friend asked me about five years ago to make them a bowl. And because it's been so long, I needed to make this special. And since they love all things Disney, I decided to go with this design. Now whether you use power tools or just hand tools like me, hopefully you can reapply my principles and techniques to make your own. And I appreciate all your comments and questions. The choice of wood was either oak, cherry, or maple. I chose maple. I decided to leave the bark on to give it a rustic look. That's called a live edge. I wanted to get good video footage, so I installed an overhead rack to get just the right angle. First I installed handles underneath, so it's easy to pick up the cutting board off of flat surfaces. I didn't really like the shooting angle, so I centered the camera directly over the cutting board. Now I'm going to install two bowls into the cutting board. They can be used for olive oil or olives or whatever they'd like. I've located them out of the way of the cutting area. Now that's perfect, but it's not nearly enough. So I talked to their spouse and found out they loved all things Disney. And what's more Disney than Mickey Mouse? I wanted a more 3D effect, so I selectively removed wood from certain areas of the face. Then I used a dark black graphite pencil to add contrast. Now that is special. To keep the graphite from flaking, I spray varnished Mickey, and then I oiled the rest of the board. The total time on this project was six hours. Of course I needed special Chop With Chris wrapping paper. I'm sorry this took so long. I hope it was worth the wait. Thanks everyone. Please subscribe to me on YouTube and you can follow the progress of my projects on my Instagram page, at Chop With Chris. And one added bonus. Click on the link at the end of this video or in the description section and you can see one of my very first videos. For my next project I'm going to be making a cutting board. 